Today we are reading the book of 3 John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. It is Saturday, January the 14th, and this is the Greenmire Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Hello and welcome. Here's the word of the Lord, 3 John 1, verses 1 through 8. To my dear friend Gaius, whom I love in the truth, dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. It gives me great joy when some believers came and testified about your faithfulness to the truth, telling how you continue to walk in it. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Dear friend, you are faithful in what you are doing for the brothers and sisters, even though they are strangers to you. They have told the church about your love. Please send them on their way in a manner that honors God. It was for the sake of the name that they went out, receiving no help from the pagans. We ought to therefore show hospitality to such people so that we may work together for the truth. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled Faithful Living by Devin Mulder. Here's what Devin says. To Tell the Truth was a popular game show in which panel of judges had to determine whether or not the contestants were telling the truth or telling a lie. Truth seems to have become a moving target, easy redefinable in society today. In 3 John, the elder writes to his friend Gaius, expressing the joy he experienced upon learning of the faithfulness to live in the truth and to walk according to it. So what is this truth? For the writer, the truth was a life of loving like Jesus loved and living as though one believed the new reality brought about by the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus as well as the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Living faithfully would have been understood to be a life lived as a reflection of the life of Jesus Christ lived while walking on the earth. To live faithfully is to offer a cup of cold water, a meal, a place to lay one's head, a blanket, a ride in a car, an extra five dollars, or a helping hand. All of this is done in the hope that the recipient would experience the love and the real unchanging truth of Jesus Christ and live faithfully. <clears throat> the hymn is Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus by Louisa M. R. Steed. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. And from the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am. Send me. And this is your daily devotion for Saturday, January the 14th. Have a blessed day.